on Wednesday, December 6, 2023, at Clarence House in London, Britain's Queen Camilla arrived with invited children supported by Helen and Douglas House, along with those enrolled in the marvelous children's charity Dolphs, to decorate the Christmas tree and receive a few festive surprises. Welcome viewers to my channel. Please subscribe, like my video, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. Queen Camilla, once seen as a controversial figure in Windsor, the woman at the heart of King Charles Roman III's ill-fated marriage to the late Princess Diana, has emerged as one of the monarchy's most prominent representatives. Camilla has gracefully stepped into the gap left by the illness of Charles and Catherine, the Princess of Wales. She has increased her public appearances and taken on the vital role of keeping the royal family in the public eye. Michael Cole, a longtime royal commentator and former BBC correspondent, stated it's been a remarkable transformation. What's more, I think Queen Camilla has genuinely earned the respect she's receiving. She has done an outstanding job. This has been particularly important recently, as three of the royal family's senior members had to step back from their duties. The king has indefinitely postponed his public engagements after revealing that he is undergoing treatment for an undisclosed type of cancer. The news comes as the royals also feel the absence of Kate, who is recovering from stomach surgery. Prince William also took time off to support his wife, but has now returned to work. The pressures at Buckingham Palace have been laid bare by King Charles Roman III's cancer diagnosis. It took many Britons years to forgive Camilla, whose extramarital affair contributed to Charles' divorce from Diana, famously known as the People's Princess. Diana, the beloved young mother of Princes William and Harry, tragically died in a car accident in Paris in 1997, five years after her public and tumultuous split from Charles. Camilla has taken on roles in more than 100 charities, advocating for causes ranging from promoting literacy to supporting victims of domestic abuse and aiding the elderly. England's Queen Camilla took a moment of reflection at the Salisbury font designed by English sculptor William Pye during a musical evening at Salisbury Cathedral to celebrate the work of local charities. The Queen will also meet the conductors of the Grenadier Guards Band and the Band of the Rifles in Salisbury, England on Thursday, February 8, 2024. In a speech at the Foreign Press Association Annual Awards Dinner in November, Camilla even won over a room full of journalists with a wry remark about her sometimes strained relationship with the media. She joked to laughter from the audience, there are journalists in my family, and I've even been the subject of one or two stories myself over the years. But perhaps more importantly, Camilla's presence seems to have made the king appear less distant, more relatable. Unlike earlier generations of royals who would visit the hospital alone, Charles left his recent treatment with Camilla by his side, offering the support most would expect from a life partner. Of course, she would visit, why wouldn't she? She attended a concert a few days later, stopping to chat with well-wishers and reassuring them that the king was doing very well. She deserves a lot of credit, said Sally Bedell Smith, author of Prince Charles, The Passions and Paradoxes of an Improbable Life, published in 2017, five years before Charles became king. After leading a life that was quite typical for the upper class, she started her royal duties and has performed exceptionally well, 